Hey there fellow narrogators. So we're here working on tamping of the main line uh, in the JNL narrow gauge. I just want to quickly show you what happens when you tamp track. Now if you look here you see there's not a lot of ballast next to that tie and you see the next one up there that has ballast next to it. So this tie was the same as that one. All of that stone that used to be there is now under the tie. When you jack a track up and uh, to line it up, the stone doesn't automatically just slide underneath that tie. It, uh, it stays on the side and there's a gap under there. So if we were to run 58 up through here right now, it would just push this track back down to three inches we jacked it up, wouldn't do anything. So you have a machine such as this, it's a pneumatic tamper and it's just basically just just shoves the ballast down under the tie and I'll show you exactly how it works. So that's all you have to do is just keep pushing it and you can feel it you can feel the uh, the bottom of the tamper there the tamper head when it punches through the ballast and then goes into the void because it didn't want to take off then you just pull it back up and let more stone get underneath it and push down again you just keep doing that until you feel resistance that you feel like you filled that void in and then you move down on the tie and then you just do it again and again and again and again and again until you get to the end of where you're working. So it's a long process. It's not very fun. It makes you ache at the end of the day. But this is how you get good looking track for running trains on. 